I'm about to get gas real quick. Head to Birmingham. I'm gonna go to my girl's house. Let The Rock ask you a question. Were you just picking your nose? <laughs> Probably spend a night over there. You know what's crazy though? Is this is like this huge line at the gas pump because the gas is like 425. This ain't the pump I need to be at though. She just took, she just jumped in front of me. This black lady, okay. So this this black lady couldn't tell what I was doing, bro. So she just jumped in front of me. That's so crazy. People are really going crazy over these gas prices. I'm honestly just about to go to a different gas station. Like it's that bad. It's that bad. I'm just about to go to a different gas station. These folks stingy. Anyway though, so yeah, I'm about to go to my girl's house. I gotta stop at Walmart first. She just wants some like strawberries. She wanna make some chocolate strawberries or something. And I need a new mic because how my how my little vlogging kit is set up. It's got a mic input, but I need a, a charger adapter to get it to work. And the dog chewed up the charging adapter. So now I have to go and get a new one. Them things not cheap. Them things is like $20. So I gotta go and get another one right now. I'm gonna probably just do that when I get up there while I'm getting, you know, strawberries or whatever. But yeah, I'm about to go get this gas real quick. And by the time y'all see me again, I will be at her house. So yeah, I'll catch y'all in a second. I just got hit in the back. On the interstate. God wasn't even paying attention, bro. But I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. We, we out here vibing. Yeah. I might be more upset. I feel the tank up, honestly. I just got that car, too. Anyway, bro. The doctor finna come in here and check on me and whatever. So, y'all hear from me when I'm out of the hospital. Peace. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So, I'm back at home. It's like day four after the accident. Most of the pain is gone now. Um, I'd say the second day is where I felt most of the pain. Um, people were telling me, like, the third day would be like the worst day, but uh, yesterday wasn't so bad. I, I just been relaxing. I'm probably just sit here, man, and watch some TV, relax, and uh. So first off, let me say this. If it were not for my seatbelt, I probably wouldn't even be making this video right now. I might be somewhere in the hospital or somewhere with like some severe injuries or something. Make sure you wear your seatbelt, bro. Like. You yeah, ain't nobody gonna think you cool just cause you don't wear your seatbelt, bro. Anyway, uh, I got rear-ended on the interstate. Ironically enough, I was on the way to see my girl. She swears up and down this is like her fault or something. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know where she get that from. But it's just how these people drive. Like it's it's nobody's fault but the guy that hit me. I was coming up uh, 65. And so how I started first of all, I dropped my phone. And I need my phone because I need to be able to navigate my way to my girl's house. And it's only like my third time being up there. So I need my phone so that I know where to turn and this, that, and the other. So I dropped my phone in the passenger floor. I signaled and I got over into the emergency lane. After I get my phone, I signal, get ready to get back into the road. Nobody's behind me. I'm like, cool. I go ahead and I, you know what I'm saying? Then out of nowhere, bro, this man that looked like one of Plankton's cousins. Of course you remember Zeke, Rufus, Jeep, Billy Bob, Billy Jim, Billy Billy Billy, Billy Banana Fan of Philly, Doug, Enos, Dan, Julio, Fletcher McGee, Rainchild, Zeke, Julio. All right, I get it! Come and hit me in my back, bro. 70 miles an hour just straight up rammed me. And I'm seeing everything that's going on. So first of all, I see him in the back coming up. I get ready to brace for the hit. Boom. Hit me. He hit me. He knocked me off the road. I'm seeing nothing but trees right now. All I can think about is, bro, please don't flip. Please don't flip. The car ends up not flipping. I hit the guardrail. Took the whole side of my car out. The back is smushed in. 
the front of his truck was smushed in. I mean, it was just all bad, bro. It was just all bad. Luckily enough, we was both able to walk away from it, though. That's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? Nobody uh, really got hurt. You know, I, suf I suffered a concussion, left shoulder contusion, right shoulder contusion, whiplash in my neck, which probably hurt the worst. The second day was crazy. The middle of my back. But other than that, I was good. I got over all those symptoms in like a week. You know what I'm saying? But it was the sole fact that he tried to lie on the police report. So this guy says, I was coming from the left lane and then I merged into the right. And he didn't have time to react. And so that's how it looks on the police report. It doesn't even have how it looked on my end. It's almost as if they didn't even jot down what I said. This man even went as far to have a witness like to say that I was coming from the left lane and I hit him and I got in front of him and hit and he hit me just like that. But you know what? I ain't gonna stress about that. You know what I'm saying? We gonna let God take care of them people, man. You know, there's some evil people out here in this world, bro. We ain't stun them, you know what I'm saying? I'm just glad that I'm okay. All my soreness is gone, you know what I'm saying? I still, still have a couple of headaches from here, here and there. My shoulders kind of, you know, but other than that, I'm cool, man. I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to end this video on, like, no sad note or nothing. Just like, oh, that's crazy, man. You wrecked your car. Like, no. Nah. I got some shoes coming tomorrow. I'm going to show you all those real quick. And then, yeah, we're going to end the video. All right, so we are back. It is a brand new day. If, you, if I look tired, it's because I am tired of being poor. But that's neither here nor there, and you don't care. This is my latest pickup. Uh, we just going to get right into it, bro. You see the 700 on the box. Signature box. These usually come with only like 350s, 450s, uh, 500s, and 700s. But I believe all of them come in a box like this. They're just like a bigger box, but 700 usually means wave runner. Take these out of the box. And guys, if you want a fit pick, I'm not dropping no fit pick on this, uh, on this video. You're gonna have to go follow my Instagram for the fit pick, all right? See how they look on your feet. Yeezy. Oh, Lord have mercy. So we got the Yeezy 700 High Res Red. Now you see it's got like a racer type of red, and then it's got like this burgundy type feel right here, and then it's the same red on the outer sole. On the very bottom, you got this leather right here that starts on the very bottom, the fabric, or is it like a new buck? I believe it's like a new buck type thing. Fabric right here, or like a mesh, and it like stretches to so like down here, they change the color to give it a dark gray. And then right here, they'll give it a burgundy. Burgundy laces, leather on the very top to top it off. Got Yeezy, I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeezy on the inside, Adidas on the back. Of course, you got the boost right on there on the inside. The colors is crazy. The colors are indeed crazy, but you know, I, li I really like how they put this one together and how they came up with it, you know. Yeezy gonna always come out with some crazy colorways anyway. I'm starting to like the whole uh, crazy colorway thing that they're doing anyway. That's going to conclude this video right here. I appreciate you tuning in. If you made it to the end of this video this far, congratulations, but I bet you didn't do one thing. I bet you didn't like the video. Tell me I'm lying. Like the video, share it if you want, show it to your friends. If your post notifications are not on, turn on the post notifications, but you gotta subscribe first. Make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah, I'm out. I gotta hurry up and edit this video. It's gotta be out in two days, so peace out. Also, bro, if you are a videographer in the area of Alabama, bro, please get in contact with me, bro. Please get in contact with me. I'm about to get this camera, and then content is gonna be flowing. But it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to film myself because it's not gonna look as good. And I want to make sure I'm putting out the best product for you guys to watch, not just nothing basic. So if you are a videographer in the area, please get in contact with me. Okay, for real this time. Peace.